Oh. Namaste, you uh, beautiful motherfuckers. <laughs> oh my god. What an absolutely amazing, beautiful day. You know, it's the weekend and it's all about you know recuperation, being out in nature and just doing what's good for your soul. And for me, you know, it's just good to sort of like disconnect from the fast paced society that we live in and just get out into nature, you know, away from all the chatter. <sighs> such an important thing to do oh what a day I'm in Rande Park at the moment and uh, as any as anyone from Leeds will know it's currently uh, the Leeds uh, triathlon for the weekend uh, I've just been to the lakeside cafe and I've had just the most amazing vegan carrot cake and soy latte so I am very sort of pleased um, as some of you will know, I've been talking for a little while about doing a series of videos about various sort of topics that are quite important to me and will be quite important to you as well. You know, I've encouraged people to sort of like make suggestions for, you know, things that they want me to talk about. Um, but I want to touch upon uh, such topics like um, uh, nature, spirituality, veganism, oneness, consciousness, and various other things. But, you know, today I'm gonna to talk about pit bulls as per the suggestion of my awesome friend, Hilary Judith. But before I get cracking on, we're talking about pit bulls, I just wanna give a massive shout out to Jordan and the people of the uh, UK vegan camp out. I think you guys are doing some amazing stuff at the moment and it's just amazing to be able to get so many beautiful vegans together um, you know, with music, food, inspirational speakers and what have you. Uh, I will uh, post a link to their events page in the uh, comments uh, just below and you can uh, find out more information uh, about the event. Oh, hang on a second, because I'm in the woods. I just want to make sure I'm on the right sort of trail. Right, I should fucking know, because I've been roaming these woods since I was a kid. Uh, right, yeah, okay, I know where I am. So... Pit bulls. Now, I know some of you will probably be thinking, mm, fucking pit bulls, those vicious, vicious, vicious little fucking dogs. Mm, they'll bite your fucking arm off. What a load of bollocks. It's true, you know, that there, ha there have been reports in the past of um, pit bulls like attacking people. Um, but, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, any dog that's poorly trained will attack people. Now, pit bulls are something I'm particularly sort of passionate about. Uh, I recently had a, a job interview for just an amazing job. Uh, I work as a fundraiser for the British Red Cross. It's an amazing sort of charity that sort of like helps people in uh, crisis situations, uh, uh, crisis situations, earthquakes, tsunamis, major accidents, and what have you. And in part of the group interview, I had to uh, give a talk that's something I'm passionate about, you know, present a problem and then provide a solution to it. And so I gave a very sort of impassioned speech on pit bulls. Um, pit bulls were the original nanny dog, given that they have such a natural affinity for children. You know, their core nature, their essence, if you like, is just pure, unadulterated love. They are massively affectionate dogs. Just absolutely amazing. Uh, oh, just a uh, just a little bit out of breath because it's hot, and uh, I'm just trying to sort of like concentrate on the trail as well. But yeah, um, pit bulls were the original sort of nanny dog. Um, they have a great affection and affinity for children. Um, can be very sort of protective. Uh, hiya. Hiya. Hey you all right? Yeah, yeah. Especially good now that I'm on video call. Cool. Oh, I'm, I'm just doing a, a little video, a little video talk. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, fella. But yeah, uh, natural affinity for children. Um, it's like, you know, they, you know, I've, I've met so many pit bulls and they're, just, they're the sweetest dogs ever. Um, but then you get some fucking idiots 
that will just train them up, you know, for fighting. And they're treated like, like fucking gladiators. Yes, they have um, a very sort of muscular build, and unfortunately this does make them well suited for fighting. But, you know, the fact of the reality, you know, the reality is, is that any dog can be trained to fight. There are loads of sort of uh, myths uh, surrounding pit bulls. Um, and the media just loves to sort of like jump on, like, you know, pit bulls in general, um, just to demonise them. But, you know, from the sort of research that I've done into uh, pit bull attack statistics, most attacks were actually made by uh, mastiff type dogs. Um, I don't know if uh, many of you know uh, much about massive type dogs, but you know they're they're a lot bigger than pit bulls. Um, other sort of things as well, like lockjaw. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that uh, pit bulls have lockjaw, like they'll uh, bite down on your arm or whatever, and they won't be able to let go. That's a load of fucking bullshit. There's no such thing. Pit bulls do not have lockjaw. Another myth would be that uh, pit bulls have the strongest sort of bite. Again. That is a load of fucking bullshit. There are other dogs, other breeds, quite a number of others that have bites stronger than pit bulls. Um, yeah, and then you just, they have so much energy in them as well. You know, they're very, very full of character. Um, I mean, like when I've been out working or when I've been out on my travels and stuff like that and I'll see a pit bull, they are so fucking full of beans, it's unbelievable. You know, all they want to do is just play and snuggle um, and I guess some people, you know, feel kind of intimidated by that. You know, they'll run up to you and all they want to do is like lick you and nuzzle you or kiss you or whatever. Um, and people will run away from that. And, you know, some pit bulls like to, like to play with their mouths as well. It's like I remember once I was walking in these very same woods uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, <laughs> I was actually hugging a tree at the time. And uh, when I was hugging it, I took a, a selfie of myself. And then I carried on hugging it for like a couple more minutes. And then round, out, round the corner was, uh, was a pit bull. Uh, a, you know, pure white uh, Staffordshire uh, Bull Terrier pit bull. And he was sort of like just stood there looking at me. And he sort of like cocked his head like, what the fuck's this weirdo doing? So I looked at him. Uh, he bolted off. Uh, and then about a minute later, he came running right round the corner. And then he sort of jumped at me. And he was licking me on the hand. He was like licking me all over my over my belly, all over my leg. And then I thought, fuck it. So I got down on my knees and we were just having such a, such a fun play together, you know. We were wrestling each other and stuff and uh, I was putting my hand in his mouth. And he, was, he never bit, he never fucking bit. Um, oh, it was just, it was lovely. Um, and then the owner came round. We were talking about uh, pit bulls, the sort of prejudice that they get. Um, but I mean, I, I never forget that day. Um, kind of digressing a little bit. So where was I? So yeah, talking about attack statistics and stuff like that. And yeah, you know, they're, they're, you know, you get these idiot owners that treat them like gladiators, you know, because of their bodily sort of structure makes them like suited for fighting. Um, but it's fucking, it's it's shit. It really, really is. Um, and yeah, yeah that's, that's it, I remember where I was at. So I was talking about their sort of energy and a lot of people just don't know how to sort of like handle or look after the energy of a, look after a pit bull properly, you know, how to deal with their sort of energy. So you get basically poor quality owners. That is the major sort of thing when it comes to pit bulls is poor quality owners. Uh, and unfortunately because of that, many of these pit bulls end up in shelters um, and nobody, wants to, I mean, not nobody, I should say, but most people don't want to adopt a high energy pit bull, so many of them get put to sleep, which is really fucking sad. You know, and we have the bullshit, bullshit legislation or breed specific legislation, where many of these beautiful, beautiful dogs end up in pounds or put down to sleep because they're illegal to have. Now, I can kind of see where they're coming from with the legislation, Poor quality owners should not be allowed to own them. Um, so what I proposed in my uh, group interview uh, as a solution to the problem would start off with supporting those owners. You know, free training provided and it will basically give these owners the skills and knowledge necessary to have a really sort of wonderful relationship with their pit bulls. 
uh, things like that. Um, events as well, where people could uh, bring their pit bulls to the event. Not like an exhibition as such, but more like a sort of like community meet. People could come and meet pit bulls. People could bring their own dogs as well. Just so you can see like, you know, the interaction. Um, how pit bulls, you know, well-trained pit bulls can like interact with other dogs and with other people just to help really sort of like dispel those myths that they're vicious killers because they're not. And also um, like proper support for people um, adopting pit bulls out of shelters, just like, you know, like an aftercare service of sort um, to really support them in their relationship with their pit bulls. And again, as I said earlier, I've met so many of them, you know, since I started working as a fundraiser. I'll see them out on the street. I'll go over to the pit bull and the owner and I'll ask if it's okay to pet. And honestly, you know, I get kisses off them all the time. Oh, excuse me. All right, guys. Oh. Oh. But yeah, I'll kneel down and I'll you know, speak to the owner. I'll have a play with the pit bull. And you know, I'm constantly getting kisses off them. I don't know what it is. You know, I'm so fucking magnetic to dogs. Oh, I'm sweating a little bit now. Oh my God, these woods are beautiful. But yeah, there you have it. Pit bulls are not dangerous, vicious killer dogs. The problem is poor quality owners. And I hope that this video will get people thinking, you know, get those mental cogs turning. Because, you know, the amount of dogs that end up in these kill shelters. So it's really important this is addressed. Anyway, I'm done. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll be uploading another video again soon. And a big, big massive shout out to Hillary Judith for suggesting this. I'm so glad to have you on board this campaign. And Scott Peacock as well. Big shout out to you as well. You know, both massively passionate about pit bulls. Right, thanks for watching guys. I love you all and I'll see you again soon. Peace.